Because of the impact that humans have had on the world, over the past few hundred years there have been quite a few extinctions. When an animal is declared extinct, in most cases they are gone for good. But some extinct animals are rediscovered years if not decades later. Some endangered creatures are found in very remote areas, and these areas are often not inhabited by humans. This means that certain species can go unseen for years, and this leads to some creatures being wrongly declared extinct. On this channel, I've already covered plenty of stories where extinct animals have been rediscovered, but this video is slightly different. Instead of focusing on creatures that have been rediscovered, I will be taking a look at a few creatures that are supposedly extinct, but could be rediscovered in the future. There are many unconfirmed sightings of supposedly extinct animals around the world, and some of these sightings may be genuine. For our first supposedly extinct creature we will be heading over to Japan, as we have the Japanese otter. The Japanese otter was a medium-sized otter species endemic to Japan, and it was a similar size to both the Eurasian and the North American river otter, but it was slightly smaller on average. Some experts believe it to be a subspecies of the Eurasian otter, but studies have shown that it was a distinct species. Even though it was slightly smaller than some other otters with a maximum body length of around 80 centimeters, it was one of Japan's largest freshwater predators. It primarily fed on fish, crabs and shrimp, but it would also feed on invertebrates and vegetable matter. Japan is a bit of a hot spot when it comes to recent extinctions, as it's lost a few canids, marine mammals and plenty of birds. Most of these extinctions are due down to overhunting or habitat loss, and it's a similar story with the Japanese otter. This otter was once relatively common in Japan, and it was even present in Tokyo until the 1880s. Their population suddenly shrank in the 1930s, and this mammal almost completely vanished. In the Meiji era from 1868 to 1912, the government of Japan adopted a policy of increasing wealth and military prowess. Because of this, animal pelts became a very valuable commodity, and they were exported for money or used in the military. Because of this, these otters were ruthlessly hunted, and in some places they completely disappeared. There were a few sightings in 1964, 1972 and 1973, but the last official sighting was in Kochi Prefecture in 1979. Even after the hunting, these creatures were affected by pollution and human development, and eventually the Japanese otter was declared extinct in 2012. Despite this declaration, some believe that the Japanese otter is still out there, and there have been many search efforts over the past few decades. In Kochi Prefecture in 1991, the Environmental Agency of Japan assembled a research team full of experts. In their first year, they found hair and excrement that they believed to have come from an otter, and they also found a number of footprints in the area. In 1994, they set up infrared cameras to try and catch one of these animals on camera, but they only recorded animals such as raccoon dogs. Over the years that followed, there were many credible sightings, and in February 2017, a wild otter was caught on camera. This animal was captured on camera in Nagasaki Prefecture, but unfortunately, it was not the Japanese otter. Instead, this species was the Eurasian otter, and this otter became the first otter found in Japan for over 38 years. Although it's sad that this otter wasn't a Japanese otter, it proves that otters can survive in Japan, and maybe there's still a small population out there. For our next supposedly extinct creature, we will be heading over to Java, as we have the Javan tiger. Now as I'm sure many of you know, there is only one tiger species alive today. This species is the largest living cat species, but this cat does have two subspecies, and these subspecies have quite a few distinct populations. The Javan tiger was smaller than the tigers on the Asian mainland, but it was larger than the Bali tiger which is also extinct, and it was similar in size to the Sumatran tiger. It had a large number of very thin stripes, and a very long and narrow nose. The males had an average body length of around 2.5 meters, and they had a maximum weight of around 150 kilograms. 
Unfortunately, the Javan tiger's story is similar to that of other tigers, as famously the tiger once had a much larger range. As tigers are apex predators, they're often seen as a threat, and because of this, in some areas they were shot on sight. Bounties for the hunting of Javan tigers were first issued in the 1930s, and the killing of tigers increased at the beginning of the 20th century. The downfall of this tiger was not only because of these bounties, but it was also because of the growing population on Java. At the start of the 20th century, there were only around 28 million people living in Java, but by 1975, there were 85 million people. At this time, only around 8% of the natural forest remained, and most of Java's landscapes were human-dominated. Human-wildlife conflicts led to these tigers being poisoned, and the majority of their natural prey also disappeared. There were a few attempts to try and save this tiger, but the last few individuals were either poached or killed in a period of civil unrest. After this, these tigers were eventually declared extinct in 2003, but once again, some people still believe that they're out there. There have been occasional unconfirmed reports, and in November 2008, a body of a female hiker was found in a national park in central Java, and it was alleged that she was killed by a tiger. The villagers who discovered her body had also claimed that they had seen tigers in the area, and there were further sightings in the following year. Some alleged Javan tiger sightings have turned out to be Javan leopards, and these animals could also be behind the hiker's death. There is still a bit of mystery behind this story, and you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. For our final creature, we will be heading over to the southern United States and Cuba, as we have the ivory-billed woodpecker. I have been through this woodpecker's story on the channel many times before, and every single time I get comments from people saying that they've seen this woodpecker. There is still footage of this woodpecker out there, but it is currently listed as critically endangered or presumed extinct. The last accepted sighting of this bird was in Louisiana in 1944, and the last accepted sighting of the Cuban ivory-billed woodpecker was in 1987. One of the reasons why there are so many false sightings of this bird are because there are so many species that look like it. Pileated woodpeckers are often misidentified as ivory-billed woodpeckers, and a few other species also have similar colouring. If you are still one of the people in the comments who thinks you have seen this bird in the wild, then I implore you to take a picture of it, because you will be making an important scientific discovery. The ivory-billed woodpecker's extinction was due down to human activity, as heavy logging led to a loss of habitat. These birds were found in old-growth forests and swampland, and large areas of these habitats were cleared. By the 1880s, this bird was already considered rare, and eventually they almost completely disappeared. It is possible that they could still be found in some very remote areas, and some experts believe that they could still exist in Florida or Cuba. For now, we will just have to wait and see, but personally, I hope that there are still some of them out there. If you think there are any other animals that I could have included in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.